Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about the best vegan places to eat in Barcelona. So let's get into it. So recently, Matt and I went to Barcelona. If you are new here and you don't know who I am or who Matt is, Matt is my husband, I'm Tamar, and we're both vegan. Um, so yeah, we went to Barcelona and we didn't really know what to expect with regards to vegan food at first. Actually, like one Google search later, we were like, oh my goodness, I'm so, so, so excited because the vegan scene in Barcelona is actually like thriving right now. And there was like at least, or like over a hundred different vegan restaurants in Barcelona, which I would be surprised about for Spain. Barcelona is blessed, like there is a lot of vegan options in Barcelona and if you're planning a trip to Barcelona and you're vegan or you just enjoy eating vegan, you're gonna have a great time. There is a lot, a lot to choose from. So Matt and I visited a few places, we were there for a week, we had three meals a day in Barcelona and I have chosen my seven. I tried to get it down to five but honestly they're just way too good. My seven favourite restaurants in Barcelona and they're all like on this list for different reasons, so I'm gonna go through them and chat a little bit about them. If I keep looking this way, I'm sorry, my computer's here and it's like, I've got a list. Um, and I just don't wanna, I just wanna make sure I don't miss any off because I was looking for this kind of video before we were going to Barcelona and I couldn't find one. So I thought it would be super helpful to just make it so that uh, if any of you guys are going to Barcelona and you wanna eat vegan, you know my recommendations. Okay, so just a disclaimer, I'm not the kind of vegan that always wants to eat super healthy. In fact, most of the time, I get more excited about eating, like, vegan junk food. In fact, all of the time, I get more excited about eating vegan junk food. If you're, like, raw or you're, like, I don't know what the people do these days, but you're trying to be vegan for, like, health reasons and you don't want to eat unhealthy food, then this may not be the video for you or these may not be the restaurants to go to. If you like, like, junk food, then stick around. So the first recommendation, a place that you really need to go to if you're in Barcelona is... Is it called Cat Cafe or Cat Bar? <laughs> it's called Cat Bar. It's called Cat Bar Cat. Because it's Cat Bar in Catalonia, I think that's why it's called Cat Bar Cat. But anyway, I'll put up some photos slash a little video where I'll see what footage I've got. But yeah, we went to Cat Bar Cat on our first... Um, I think it was our first meal in Barcelona. Yeah, I think it was like lunch on the first day and it was so good. The specific thing that blew me away about this place was the patatas bravas. So I don't care what you get at Cat Bar Cat, as long as you try the patatas bravas, it is the best I have ever had, ever. Full stop. It's so good. Like, it's just so creamy and it tastes so good. I've really been trying to figure out the recipe that they use, but I can't figure it out. But once I do, I'll put it up on my blog, which is linked down below, by the way. Um, just because it's like so amazing and everyone needs to experience it. So yes, go to Cat Bar Cat, get yourself a burger, or you don't have to get yourself a burger if you don't want to, but I had a burger, it was really good, and just the patatas bravas all the way. And they have good cider as well, so if you're into that, then there's a good recommendation. We actually went back to Cat Bar Cat twice, um, because it was so good. So we went back again like a few days later and had a different burger and more patatas bravas. So yeah, highly recommend, really, really good. Second recommendation is a place called, oh, this one was so cute, called Santoni Cafe. And I didn't know about this one. I like, it wasn't at the top of Happy Cow, so we didn't like think to go there, but we were in like a specific part of Barcelona and we really just wanted to get a sandwich really quickly. Um, and I was so just Googling vegan sandwiches in Barcelona and this was like, 500 meters from where we were standing so we went there and oh my gosh it's amazing like it's a hundred percent vegan and so is cat bar by the way so you can have anything on the menu and they sell like pastries donuts uh sandwiches uh samosas like juices milkshakes the, the menu is massive pizzas as well and it's all fully vegan they have like a four cheese pasty which is all vegan which i had which was so good and the pricing is amazing. Cat bar um, pricing was like pretty standard, I would say, you know, I can't even remember, like seven euros for a meal or something, but this was like two euros 50 for a sandwich. And the sandwiches weren't tiny and they were really good as well. And like they had fresh juice that they'd made from scratch and smoothies and milkshakes and it was just really good. It's tiny, so cute, or like there may not be anywhere to sit, but 
if you do go at like a time when there's people, when there's like space, definitely sit in. If not, it's a takeaway place anyway, so you can take food and then eat it in the park or something. But I would highly recommend this place. It's cheap, like the cheapest place we went to, and it's amazing value for money. And the amount on offer is so, so good. Like there's so many options to choose from. So yes, Santoni Cafe, definitely go there. Yes. Okay, the next place that you need to go to is called Demasi, and it's a bakery, Demasi. I don't really know how to pronounce it, Demasi. That's kind of French sounding, I don't know. But anyway, it's in the Albon area of Barcelona. So like, it's close to La Rambla. Um, basically in Barcelona, everything is walkable anyway, if you're for walking like, at tops, you'll be walking like half an hour. Uh, so it's like not too far away, nothing is too far away. But yeah, Demazi, Demazi, I don't know how they say it, but it's amazing, again. It's like a bakery, so it does sweet stuff. Um, they have vegan cinnamon rolls, um, and they like have different flavours. They have vegan cookies, they have vegan lemon meringue pie, which was amazing by the way, get the lemon meringue pie if you, if you want to. When we went, we went back twice, so the first time we had, we literally just said we'll have everything that you have vegan, so we had Two cookies, uh, two different types of cookies. We had a Nutella, Nutella cinnamon roll, and the lemon meringue pie. And I feel like we may have had something else, but I can't remember. If I think of it, I'll let you know. But yeah, uh, and then the second time we went back, we just had a plain cinnamon swirl, um, like a vegan one. And yeah, everything that, that we ate there was amazing. I can't, to be honest, I didn't even look at the prices, but I feel like it, it wouldn't have been that expensive, or my husband wouldn't have let us go back. <laughs> the next thing I'm talking about is staying on the sweets theme, chalk. Oh my gosh, chalk. Okay, like, I don't even know if I can express in enough words how much I love chalk. Like, definitely my number one place for sweets in Barcelona. They have these, like, giant intricate cupcakes, which are vegan, which are amazing. They have donuts stuffed full of strawberry and chocolate spread and like chocolate sauce and they have like normal sized cupcakes and they have like a whole huge selection of chocolate and like little truffles which are like so so good the pistachio pistachio truffles are amazing would highly recommend and I would highly highly recommend their lavender and lemon cupcakes and their donuts that are stuffed with Nutella just just definitely go to Choc, and there's actually two locations, so there's one that's literally just off La Rambla, like just past, is it past La Boccaria, or is it, anyway, it's near to La Boccaria anyway, I think it's just past it, and then you turn left, if La Boccaria is on your left, but then if you carry on walking a bit, there's like another one, which is Choc, they just have two sites, and the one that's a little bit further away from La Rambla is probably better for vegans, it's got more of, an, more of a spread of vegan options than the one that's just off La Rambla but they're both amazing and they're both the same company so yeah Choc is a definite must to be honest. The next one is Teresa Carla's restaurant and I know that she has something called Flax and Kale as well. I didn't end up going to Flax and Kale but we went to Teresa Carla's and the standout thing for me, I mean the food was good, it was a bit pricey for what it was in my opinion but the range of pressed juices that they have are amazing. I had one with like activated charcoal, I think, and I don't know, it was black water and I'd never had that before and it tasted really good. And it really did help my digestion because like I've been eating so much in Barcelona that I was just a bit like clogged up. Um, and that sorted that out for me. Sorry if that's TMI. Anyway, so yes, Teresa Carles, I would put it in the mix of a place that you need to go, if only for like the juices and milkshakes. I would say even the food may not be, I mean, I don't want to say it's not great, it was really good, I just think it was a bit expensive and like, I'm more into um, like, not as expensive food. Like, I had paella, it was really good, and the aioli sauce that was on the paella was really good as well. Um, but the juices was what stood out for me, and Matt had a milkshake that was really good as well, so yes, there's that. Um, and I think there are two left that I haven't talked about. Yeah, just two. So this number six, but it's like, this is not in any particular order, by the way. Yeah, I did not do this in order. So yes, Vegetalia, that's another place that you need to go to. The Sangria here is really, really good. And um, they do this pizza with, so I think it's the last one on the menu, the last vegan pizza. It might be the only vegan pizza, I'm not sure. But um, it has pesto on it, I know that. It was so good. The vegan cheese that they use, I think it, it tastes like it's coconut based. I'm not sure if they make it themselves, but it was really yummy. Uh, this pizza, it had seitan on it. Oh, it was just so good. Like, 
definitely try the pizza and definitely try the sangria from here. It's really, really good. They also have two sides. They have one that's like nearer to the beach if you're living if you're staying on the coastal side of the city, and they have one that's a bit more inner city. I can't actually remember where the second one is, but I walked through it from the Rambler, so it can't be that far away. But anyway, uh, Vegitalia, really, really good. Highly recommend the pizza there, the vegan cheese, the one with seitan on it and pesto. Really, really, really good. Last but not least, I feel like I've been, I feel like this video is quite long, but I also feel like I've been talking really fast and not gone that in depth. But hopefully it makes sense and like it gives you some cool ideas about where to eat. So yes, last but not least, we have, um, what is it called? It's really hard to like remember the names of these places. Oh yeah, this is because I couldn't say it very well. I apologise if you're... If you speak Catalan and I'm butchering your language, but Bar Calanita Sangria Bar, Bar Calanita, Calanita, I'm not sure. I'll link it down below. Um, we came here. It's near the. It's like right near the beach, so it's just there's like a strip of like the seafront, and then there's like lots of little streets coming up off the harbour front bit, and it's just on one of the side streets. Um, and yeah, it's really good. It's a sangria bar, but they have great food as well. And we had, so they have like vegan seafood, which is like not really seafood. So we had squid and I've never even had like squid before I was vegan. So I've never actually tasted squid squid, but they had like battered vegan squid and shrimps. And so we tasted this and that stuff and it was really good as well. Um, and we had a burger there and they had like homemade uh, vegetable crisps. And yeah, it was really yummy. But what stands out for me from this place is the sangria, and which was really good. I got the rosé sangria um, because I love rosé, and Matt got the red sangria. It was really good as well. Um, in fact, did I get the sangria or did I have a mojito? No, I definitely had a sangria. Um, and then the puddings. The puddings were so good. I had a cheesecake, and it was, like, really creamy and really yummy. Um, and Matt got the tiramisu, and so they have vegan desserts, which are really good. They have a brownie, a cheesecake, and a tiramisu, or at least they did when we were there. Um, and I would definitely recommend the tiramisu and the cheesecake. We tasted both, and they were absolutely delicious. Um, so yeah, we ate really well while we were in Barcelona. Um, I wish I could tell you about like all the things, but this video would get ridiculously long. It says it's already 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to cut it down somehow. These are like my favourite places that we visited. Let me know if you'd like me to do another video talking about the places that I haven't mentioned because we would go to more places than this but to be honest you can find them yourself by like googling places to eat in Barcelona um, and out of all these places, all the places that we did eat, these are our favourites. Um, they are really, really good, especially if you want to have like lots of vegan options. I'm sure there are places to eat that aren't specifically vegan or vegetarian, and but do have vegan options. Um, there's a place called Walk to Walk on the Rambler, which we had the very first night we got there. It was like 11 p.m. and they we basically just said we're vegan, and she was like, "Oh, this is what you can have from the menu then." So, like, there's an awareness about veganism. Um, and it feels like an exciting place to be if you're vegan, like it feels like it's growing really quickly and it's becoming quite popular, which is always a good thing. If you're thinking about Barcelona, you don't even know if you're going to go yet, I would definitely say go. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. I can't wait to go back again. It is amazing and I would highly recommend it. And if you're vegan, even more so. I found it much easier to eat vegan there than I do in England where I live, which was not something I was expecting. So yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Have you been to any of these places yourself? Uh, let me know how you find them. And if you do end up going to any of these places, I'd love to hear about your experience there. Or if you've got any other favourite places to eat vegan in Barcelona, let me know. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, if you haven't seen my Barcelona travel diary, I will link it down below. In case you're interested in seeing what Matt and I got up to while we were there. Okay, I'm really going to go this time. Bye! <laughs>